we all have our strengths and weaknesses. The point is not to be very strong and the point is not to have no weakness at all. The point is to understand, identify and know what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. If you know your strengths and weaknesses, that's more than enough for you to achieve success. Obviously, you should work hard and try to decrease your weaknesses, overcome your weaknesses and gain new strengths. But we all have strengths and weaknesses and this question is all about that. Let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Ashwini and this video is produced by letssharesolutions.com and in this video we are going to talk about a question what are your strengths and weaknesses? What is your greatest strength? is one of the easiest interview questions you will be asked. When you are asked a question about your strength, it's important to discuss attributes that will qualify you for the job which means that Mention things which correlate with the job profile. The best way to respond is to describe the skills and experience that directly correlate with the job you are applying for. And uh, some of the examples that you can say are when I'm working on a project, I don't just uh, try to meet the deadlines, rather, I prefer to complete the project well ahead if, of the schedule. And you can also say that I have exceeded my sales goals every quarter and I've earned a bonus each year since I started with my current employer. And you can say that my time management skills are excellent and I'm organized, efficient and take pride in excelling at my work. I pride myself on my customer service skills and my ability to resolve what could be difficult situations. So these were the basic examples that I gave you, which can be for any job profile. But as I said, you must say something that correlates with your job profile. For example, if you're going for a BPO job, you can say that you like working at night, something like that. Uh, that is, uh, or you can work overtime and you do, not, you do not have any problem. Your strength is that you can work seven days a week overnight and things like that. So whichever profile that you're going for, whatever the job profile is, try to make, uh, try to tell your strengths which correlate to that. Do not lie. <laughs> All right. So now the second point is what is your greatest weakness? Well, try to show that uh, my greatest weakness is no longer my greatest weakness. Never mention something you are still bad at, but mention something you found uh, as your weakness and now you have overcome it. For example, you can say that I used to uh, leave my assignments for the last day in my school days and that helped me to learn how to work on deadlines and now I can work on deadlines because there are some clients who want the work to be done at the last hour. But now you have overcome that and now you work from the starting. And uh, or you can say that uh, I used to like to work on one project to it uh, to its completion before starting to any other project but I've learned to multitask now and I think it allows me to be more creative and effective in each one and you can say that I'm a straightforward person what's inside comes out directly this is a general statement like I don't have a uh, poker face my expressions are real and I cannot fake my weakness is my commitment towards work Generally, I do not fully rest until my work is finished. These are the basic examples, but as I said, when you talk about the uh, weaknesses, always try to mention something that was your weakness and now you have overcome that. So I hope this video helped you and now you can prepare your weakness and strength list and you will be able to answer this question confidently and be able to impress the interviewer with your answer. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and useful videos. Till then, goodbye and God bless.